what is going on everybody got a video here for you we've got a trig equation to solve so let's see how it goes so I've got 2 sine x minus 2 square root of 3 cosine x minus square root of 3 tangent x plus 3 and this looks like a complete mess well what's one of the things that we know that we typically do when we're dealing with trig functions trig expressions well if we're trying to get things to look the same like just think about when you were proving trig identities or or you were simplifying trig expressions a lot of times you would rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine so let's do that so we've got whoop, let me change colors so we've got 2 sine x minus 2 square root of 3 cosine x minus square root of 3 sine x over cosine x plus 3 equals 0 so all I did is I took tangent and wrote it as sine over cosine all right so the next thing I might do is how about we take these last two terms here and combine them together so I've got 2 sine x minus 2 square root of 3 cosine x minus square root of 3 sine x over cosine x plus 3 over cosine x that's my common denominator so I get a common denominator of cosine x and obviously since that denominator's, denominator's cosine x this one's going to stay square root of 3 sine x but this one see that's 3 over 1 so I've got to multiply this 3 by cosine x so that's cosine x equal 0 all right so when I look at this I notice I have a 2 sine x minus 2 square root of 3 cosine x and it looks like here and notice I have four terms I can factor a 2 out of here but what about this one because when I factor something out of, out here I want it to look like this okay so basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to split that down the middle I've got 2 times sine x minus square root of 3 cosine x all right so let's just factor that out and I need this sign to be negative this to be positive so I'm going to factor out a negative so let's factor out a negative square root of 3 cosine x so that's going to leave me with sine x right here see that I got the sine x matches that and if I factor out a square root of 3 over cosine x here well that's going to leave me with minus I factored out a negative so it's going to leave me it's going to change that sign so that's going to leave me with uh, square root of 3 cosine x equals 0 and see now this term matches this one see if you factor a square root of 3 out of the 3 well think about you can check you multiply this back you should end up with this and see square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3 all right and then of course the cosine would be in the in the denominator so now let's factor out let's factor out this common term right here so that's going to be sine x minus square root of 3 cosine x times 2 minus square root of 3 over cosine x and that equals 0 so I've got this thing factored so now I want to set each term equal to 0 so I've got sine x minus square root of 3 cosine x equals 0 or uh, let's see what is that 2 minus square root of 3 over cosine x equals 0 and now I just need to solve each one of these individually 
So I've got sine x equals square root of 3. Cosine x, whoop, not equal 0. And so now I'm going to divide, I'm going to divide everything by cosine x. And so that's going to give me tangent x is equal to square root of 3. And then let's solve this one. 2 equals square root of 3 over cosine x. Multiply by cosine x. So that's going to be 2 cosine x equals square root of 3. Divide by 2. Cosine x equals square root of 3 over 2. So just remember, whenever you're solving trig equations, this is the whole key to it, is get a trig function equals a number trig function equals a number. See, I went from this thing, factored it out, and ended up with this. And now we solve each one of these individually. Now, one thing I didn't put in the problem, we're going to solve this where x is between 0 and 2 pi. We're doing everything in radians. All right, so here I've got tangent x equals positive square root of 3, so that tells me my solution's in the first and third quadrant. So here I get x equals, well the tangent of what is square root of 3? Well that would be pi over 3. That's that's something you're just supposed to know. You're supposed to know the sine, cosine, and tangent of pi over 3, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, and 0. You've got to know those. So this is also my reference angle, so I can get my solution in the third quadrant. There's my reference angle, pi over 3. And so, whoop, I'm sorry, I should have went a little bit more. My, my angle x here, that's x is equal to pi plus pi over 3, which is 4 pi over 3. So there's my solution, pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. And now for this one, I've got cosine x equals a positive number. Well, we know that what? Cosine is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. So this would be, let's see, cosine x equals square root of 3. Well, the cosine of what is square root of 3 over 2? Uh, that would be pi over 6. All right. And then I need my solution in the fourth quadrant. Well, pi over 6 is also my reference angle. So there's x. So x is equal to 2 pi minus pi over 6, which that would be, what is that, 11 pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6. And there's my answer. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.